Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Boss Mag back to gaming.com. For today's video, we will show you our unboxing and overview of AMD's new Ryzen processor. And if you're wondering why it's in the uh, wooden box, that is not the retail packaging. That is, this is actually the press kit that AMD sent out to the media, tech reviewers, uh, key press, whatever. Uh, Basically, it contains a motherboard memory and a cooling separate package, of course, and a, the processor. And included in this package is the Ryzen 7, which we will see in a bit. And we actually got two right there. Right there. So I'll only be using one. This is actually one of these is Tech Porn's copy. Uh, so shout out to Leo. You will be getting yours soon. I will be sending that uh, to you in a couple of hours. And basically this is it so let me just take out the other one so we can get to unboxing so going right back this is the press kit once again for the AMD Ryzen and inside I'm not gonna uh, go over the box itself it's you won't be receiving that so let's not focus on that and this is what's inside so basically we have a Ryzen box processor this will be the retail packaging so yes this is what it looks like this is the actual product that we want to take a look at look at this is the what's important see right there right there so I got a can of the older FX processor right here so it's in a can this is in a box this is more economical so shout out to AMD for going this route not this this is I don't I don't I don't like it I don't mean like oops. that's my preference I don't know about you guys anyways going back there is this flap right here which just says powerful in purpose efficient in design AMD Ryzen 7 your Ryzen 7 is here and you are late yes Anyways, going right, moving right along. Let me just take this out. And we have, uh, they they pretty much included everything, so that we can get started testing. We 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 will use our own uh, hardware in this review, but they included a Corsair Vengeance LPX memory. So this is. Ah, oh, this is something that we've already taken a look at before. This is the Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4-3000 memory. This actually can go up to 3200 in the second XMP profile. I don't know about this exact kit, but the quad channel kit can do XMP 3200 in the second XMP profile. So this is 8GB times 2. It's total 16. Let's put that on the side. And again, this is the processor. I'll take a look at it again. And we have a card. Are you ready for AMD Ryzen? Yeah, 10 days ago when they released it. Or, yeah, something like that. So, yeah, whatever, whatever. We don't care. And we have a motherboard. This is actually TechPorn's copy of the press kit. So, he will be having the Crosshair 6 Hero. Meanwhile, I will be getting the MSI X370 Titanium X Power or something. Let me check. Yes, I'm getting the X370 X Power Gaming Titanium, which is MSI's uh, high end OC motherboard for uh, the X370 X370 uh, mother series of processors. I mean, so moving right along, actually, we have another uh, crosshair from Asus. <coughs> so, yeah. And I have a Gigabyte uh, motherboard coming, the Gaming K7, and also an X370, and hopefully we get another ASRock motherboard, and of course many from our brand partners. So that is the press kit. Nothing you'll ever probably never get your hands on when you get a box. It's actually nice. I could use it to store my shoes, probably, but I don't care about that. Let's all put that aside. I'll clean this up and let's focus on the processor. And there it is. So we got we got rid of the wooden crate, whatever. And yeah, I forgot to mention. I, I think I already did, but this is separate in the press kit. But it is actually the 
rate cooler, well, supposedly the rate cooler, but it is a Noctua NHU12SE, and it comes in with an AM4 mounting kit, so this is compatible with the latest X370 uh, and B350 and all the other AM4 motherboards out right now. So I think uh, Noctua is uh, offering upgrade if you will be transitioning to AM4, so go ahead and uh, inquire about it at their pages or contact your local uh, retailer and basically yeah, this is what comes this was supposedly what comes with the other kit so right there I don't know exactly well this is supposedly the rate cooler but I don't know if it will come package as Noctua or will the AMD uh, I've seen the retail kit it only comes with this not this so that is the supposed rate cooler. Uh, we'll take a look at this in a separate review. I'm just showing this after I've confirmed my sources. And yeah, basically we won't, we'll test this. We'll include the results for this in the review. But as we've seen, uh, this will be a standalone product. So we'll be check out, we will check out the performance on a variety of coolers that we have with AM4 mounting. Since A, I mean Asus is uh, using AM3 and AM4 mount, well mounting holes on their motherboards, I think it's safe to say we can still use our older uh, cooling solutions. We have a bunch of coolers right now waiting, so we'll see which is more effective versus, of course we already did a deleted testing for the Intel so this supposedly gets very hot so that's something to look forward to so back to the focus product right here and this is the AMD Ryzen 7 1800X right there so basically there is there's pretty much nothing that we can do with uh, an unboxing of a processor basically the processor is right there and there is nothing inside it's like this is like like yeah no, not like I've been. I've been trying to be nice on how to describe it, but yeah, this is just the important part of this package. And yeah, so I'll just open this up. Yeah, let's score on the actual label. Yeah, I actually tear this apart very nicely. But yeah, for this one, I'll just do something. Yeah, you. So yeah, that is a fresh box, and as you can see inside, there is nothing nothing this is just the bulk of the entire package and air is pretty much 90 percent inside and paper but yeah 90 percent is air i don't know if you want to be correct about it we can measure it but that for me that's 90 percent and that is air this is what's important and i don't know you, you right there so it says Ryzen. Oh, sorry about that. And oh yeah, let's just go ahead and open this up. So, so yeah, take, take that out. So there's a box inside the box, which the box holds the actual processor, which includes a Ryzen 7 sticker and the actual processor. So let me just be very careful with this one. So with with AMD processors, the pins are on the actual processors themselves. So while I can go about and be be really really careless with a with Intel processors, I can't be that way with AMD ones because as you can see, the pins. Let's see if you can focus on that right, right there. Sorry for my dirty hands. I was cleaning up earlier for this video, and there you go. Those are the pins for the Ryzen processor. Yeah. And I don't know if you want me to describe this physically because it's about the same size as the older processors. I I think I have my FX8350 mounted on the older 970 motherboard that I was going to compare this with. So uh, maybe I can show that a bit. But I think I can reach for my 6950X right here. And well, well it's a 6900K still. It's the same size. So right there, let me focus on that. This is the Intel Core i7-6900K, and this is the Ryzen 7. So as you can see, there's a significant difference in size. 
but yeah eight core part versus another eight core part this will be the meat of our comparison in terms of core and clock for clock comparison meanwhile going back to the Ryzen there uh, we have the AMD well the labels on the IHS we have AMD Ryzen 1800X giant ass Ryzen written right there and details 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 so yeah i think the processor is the only thing right now that isn't in rgb so i don't know if intel or amd will fight it out in the next few years or whoever comes out with the first rgb processor but right now this is it this is what you get this is the new generation of amd processors and uh we'll get into detail in the review right now this is this is my first time getting my hands on this thing so review well, I'll probably come out in the next few weeks, so I will link that in the description if you are watching this uh, right after it came out. But if you are watching this in the future, the link is already in the description. So, anything else that we can add, that is basically it. So this has been Bob, I mean Boss Mac of BackToGaming.com. If you want to see more videos that, that uh, like this one, I'm sorry, my tongue is not working. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to like the video, comment the video, and subscribe. Peace.